You know, the mayor has said over and over, time and time again, that that the will of the people in Scarborough, although it may be anecdotal evidence from, from speaking to them door to door at these barbecues and such, is that they want subways. Bottom line. What's your response? What you do is you say to them, you want subways? Everyone wants subways. And then you say to them, do you want two or three stops, or do you want seven stops? Do you want a taxi, or don't you want a taxi? Do you want service faster, or do you want service later? And based when they're when they're when you ask them and you have a conversation with them, you share that uh, discussion with them, polls say that in fact they want the LRT, they want better service, they want faster service, they want cheaper service. And that's what this is all about. Is there is there how much would it cost to the, the subway with their cancellation cost? Right now at at town 
What do you think about the downtown relief line idea as well? It's an important part of our infrastructure. And uh, clearly we need to take computers from here, from the total, sorry, from, from everywhere and, and get them downtown. So it's an important part of the infrastructure. I think if we were to go with the LRT, we would have funds available for that as well as other key infrastructure. Mayor Ford uh, says that Scarborough Group would like to set past citizens um, with the new uh, This is, this is the best solution for Scarborough. It's actually because we deserve better here in Scarborough. We deserve the top door solution. This is the top door solution. This is seven stops as opposed to two or three. It's paid for, and as well, for those who live in the stable neighborhoods uh, that Scarborough, Scar uh, the people in the suburbs so, so want, it won't put them under pressure to have high, high uh, levels of density. So in fact, LRT is the better solution. The people in Scarborough and the people in many other areas in, in the city deserve LRT because transit is a better solution. When you talk to people in Scarborough, do they tell you they want an LRT? They tell me that they want good transit. And what they say is they immediately say they want subways because they think that's the best. And then you say to them, do you want two stop, do you want seven, do you want to walk to it, or do you want to be able to, do you want to have to take an extra train? Uh, transfer. And when you have that discussion with them, they say, well, just a second, based on actually looking at it rather than having a good reaction, in fact, the LRT is better for, for uh, people in the Scarborough. The subway plan already has the backing of the federal and provincial government to committed funding for it. Is it really time to just say this fight is over and move on to the next transit priority for Toronto? The funding is already in place for the LRT. Um, the funding for the, um, uh, the Scarborough Transit uh, comes in uh, from both the provincial government and the federal government as well. Uh, we, we could have conversations with the federal government to transfer that funding. It's just infrastructure funding, so that funding could be available for other major infrastructure in the city. So you don't think it's that way with the law? Not necessarily. Not necessarily. Let's say you became mayor, served one term, the next guy comes in and says exactly the opposite of what you did, and we afford another Four years, eight years of false starts. But that's the whole point. This isn't a false start. This is actually moving constructively on a plan and on funding, and then everything is there ready to go. It's it's ready to grow, and including the funding. It's not a false start. It's moving with the plan that's there. Uh, council set it back. We have to move it ahead, and we're going to have to move ahead with this plan. How soon do you think construction on this LRT can start? I don't know. It's certainly we're pressing it as soon as possible, and we want to advance funding as, as quickly as possible so that uh, uh, people can take advantage of the system. Is there any other transit decision you'd like to reverse? <laughs> <Of course. laughs> uh, no. Uh, as a matter of fact, this is not, it, the, uh, the, the reversing of this decision is moving forward on the LRT de decision. Uh, I think that um, we have a um, a lot of professionals looking at what's uh, required, and I think it's really important to say that to answer your question a little more fully, um, there have been a lot of priorities put in place by professionals. I think we ought to respect those. I am not here to draw lines on the map. I'm here to respect those lines that have been drawn. The idea is to serve the most number of people at the least cost, and uh, I, I think that we are getting tied up in uh, names with respect to Again, the, giving the most number of people the 
best value. So it's not to say, well, we ought to have this or we ought to have that because it's willful. In fact, um, I believe that there are a number of decisions that came out of council, uh, uh, both last term and perhaps even during this term, that followed with professional advice in serving the most number of people. We need to respect those. The uh, provinces providing a lot of the money. I'm sorry. So the provinces providing a lot of the money. They have very little tolerance to the, the flip flopping that's happening going up. They actually put a drop dead date on the, on the project. Have you talked to the province? and ask them uh, how much flexibility they will uh, have in reversing the decision of the zone. It's, it's not a reversal of the decision, it's honoring the, the agreements in place already. Uh, and they've already put the money into uh, the LRT and said that that uh, funding is available. The whole purpose of the announcement today is to call them on that and uh, to say that if they have additional funds available, uh, that we could use it in infrastructure and transit elsewhere in the city. Well, they're pretty clear. They don't have additional funds available. And have you talked to them at all? No. Okay. And the other thing is, um, contracts are being signed. By the time the uh, mayor's race is over with and the elected mayor, there's going to be a lot more contracts signed uh, for the, the present plan. Um, what are the cancellation fees that will be uh, um, incurred yeah. as a result? Yeah. Yeah. Mention, mentioned that earlier on. The way I understand, and perhaps the two councillors can, can chip in, uh, during the budget debate, uh, about 14, there have been no contracts signed to date. Uh, con uh, council or committee, I think, appropriately approved about 14 million in um, uh, early, early work for uh, the subway. And uh, I don't know how far those will be along uh, by the time the election is finished. I will set the, that aside, that 14 million against the 85 million that have been uh, forfeited uh, with respect to cancellation of contracts for the LRT. So I think it's good value, and in the long term as well, it's saving some billions. What makes you think so that the change can be accepted with the big change in mind on this, and in particular the Scarborough Council, who the vast majority want to work with subway? If you take a look at the votes, you know that the notice of the vote was definitely whipped. Uh, and you know, both of these councils can certainly uh, speak to that. It was a very close, uh, as a uh, very close uh, uh, vote. Uh, I think it was eight people voted for the LRT. And uh, I think uh, what I'm doing at the beginning of this campaign is to let people know loud and clear that this is a core uh, part of the message. And people will have a chance on, on October to vote for what they want. Mr. Sognaki, it's off topic, but it's topical. The ice storm summer storm. How do you think the city of Toronto, the province, the feds have managed this thing in terms of trying to pay back storm damage? It does It does speak to infrastructure weaknesses in general in this city. What's your take on how it was all managed thus far? Well, again, uh, it does speak to infrastructure and it's why we have to make sure that we're very careful with the money we spend in infrastructure. It was not only the ice storm, of course, but the summer storms and it uh, impacted not only transit but all of our infrastructure. Uh, we need to do a better job, we need to work on our infrastructure, uh, and we need to keep investing in the right infrastructure. Gardner, what do you think about the Gardner future plans for that? Uh, well, again, uh, that is a, a vital way for uh, the people from uh, the core to get to and from the Etobicoke, and I certainly believe that we uh, need that infrastructure in general. We have the equivalent infrastructure elsewhere. I perhaps you know, there's some yeah, I've got strong feelings on that. <laughs> 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 and uh, yes, I feel very strongly about the gardener. Uh, remember back in the days when we had uh, Mayor Lassman, and that became an uh, issue. Do we keep it up? And I want to see the city of Toronto get an end to enjoy those benefits because I think we've been shortchanged and uh, we've been sloganed to death. It's about time we got on with business. I disliked the flip-flop that happened at Council. I voted to keep the LRT fully paid for. It's going to happen. Let's do it and get on with business. There are many areas in the city where money can go into all of the other infrastructure that we just talked about, whether it's trees, whether it's um, all the water systems. There's many areas that need that money instead of literally I think, and I don't want to say the word wasting, but, you know,
you know using that money for a very short subway stop where there is no density makes no sense to me. Okay, folks, we're gonna have just a couple more yeah, it's not about as well, and so we're, we're playing on a couple of things here as well. There are a number of issues that we're raising, uh, so you'll see this as well as others on, on the website. So the, your S, SRT plan would walk to your separate and then separate. What, yeah, what, we're, what we're doing is that uh, we are going back to the original plan and then uh, taking it. Okay. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you. have, just so you know, the, a little handful of swag, not a lot, uh, or, uh, they're not magnets. No, they're not <laughs> magnets. And, and being economical, I only have a handful, but I wanted to, uh, you can't hold it out. Okay. Just hold it. Just hold yeah. it. There we are. Oh, sorry. Just point it straight towards there you go. Over this way just a bit. Over this way just a bit. Over there this you way. Go. Wonderful. And look spontaneous. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Be spontaneous over here too. Yeah. Just turn around and go this way. Okay. Turn it, turn it, tilt it down. Okay. Why did you choose make instead of vote or elect? Um, it's branding, and I, I think uh, we need less letters on the button rather than more letters on the button. Okay. One more over here. Okay. Up, 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 up. Okay, folks. Wait a minute here. I mean, here you got two of them. Thank you. The last one is double. Natalie, and then we're done. There we go. Hey guys. I'm going to call it a wrap. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Um, let's be on my way.